The actors are all ready. Camera's rolling. Okay, we're rolling, guys. Here we go. Get ready. And action. At which point, Richard Gere hits me <laughs> and goes out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The job of the AD is, uh, well, the short version is you run the set. A circus ringmaster, basically. It's like American football, as I explain it to my European friends and they sit and watch the end of the game and they go into the two minute drill and they just keep playing continuously. And my friend from Europe says, why don't they do that all the time? And I say, they can't, they'll die. <laughs> and motion pictures are the same way. So a lot of people's perceptions when you say assistant director is assistant to the director. But of course, yeah. it, it, there's a lot more to it than that, isn't it? Yes, there? yes there is. When you read something, you just it's in your imagination. What does this person look like? What is that? What, it's all in your imagination. Now we're going to realize it. We're going to focus it. He has to go through and deconstruct every scene. I mean, you got to know what they're about. De, De Niro is a meticulous worker. He puts his hat on and he looks. Mm -hmm. And then he goes like this. He looks at his fingernails. And then he goes like that to the makeup man. He takes out a an eyebrow pencil and starts putting dirt under his fingernails. Well, we're shooting 1912. Sanitation wasn't what it like it was. And yet the shot was De Niro coming out the door of the Abadondo grocery store with a box on his shoulder, walking down the street and walking across the street. Which is a shot that took us most of a day to do. <laughs> if every day was sunny and the actors were always on time and the airplanes were never flying overhead when right. you're trying to shoot sound, you know. Our jobs would be easy, but it never, it never quite works that way. I think the biggest thing is you, you've got to not have an ego. Al Pacino, I'd give him his call sheet for the next day, and he'd have like a 7 o'clock call or whatever, and Al would say to me, I'll be here at 10. There was nothing, you know, accusatory. He realized I was just giving him the call sheet. He was just relaying the information about what time he'd probably get there. He's not a morning person. Marlon Brando was the naughtiest. Marlon Brando would, would write his lines on the forehead there just because he could. An AD is the oil that makes the engine work. You are the responsible person who says the camera can turn. As an assistant director, you have a lot of knowledge that you have to take with you to your grave. So moral of the story is be nice to everybody. No, the moral is make your own coffee. <laughs> It is as easy as you want to make it, even when it's challenging. How do I help tell the story that somebody has offered me to help tell? And that'll never change. Nobody doesn't like Quentin, only because his mental film library is like nothing I've ever seen. I mean, he's seen every, seemingly every movie ever made. You guys need to be really a kind of the, the big mama of the set. The big mama, I've done those movies too, you didn't listen to those. <laughs> I actually enjoy that moment. They're, they're, uh, you're there and it's a new, something new, a new problem, a new solution. I've never seen that before. Those are my favorite moments. Those are really great, it, it, it keeps me, that's why I look so young. <laughs> Visual effects is different than it used to be. We still use green screens. Now, in the advent of digital technology and the digital animation, things have changed. I've been lucky enough to be an assistant director on films that have utilized motion capture technology, 3D technology, and with every single film, I make sure I educate myself to understand that. Our job is to take the three or 400 people on some larger films and get all of these people to do this every single day. I'm lucky enough to work on these projects where you literally step back and go, wow, I, I was part of this incredible, extraordinary experience. However we get the image on the film, we may not be able to talk about afterwards, <laughs> but we're gonna do it and it's gonna be great. It's not to say it's not very difficult sometimes and heartbreaking sometimes. Um, because it's a life, it's not a job.